Hello YouTube and welcome back to Old Flads. This is Namalsk and we are playing DayZ. Hello also to the All Gaming Network. You guys rock. Basically, this is video two, okay? And video one was, whilst fairly exciting, in as much as we got to kill someone, was fairly unsuccessful because we died at the same time. Uh, Daisy is not a run and gun, fast paced game. Regardless of the fact that this map is a little bit smaller. So, what we're going to try and do today is firstly stay alive for longer than 10 minutes. That, that will always be, that's always preferable, I find, staying alive. It's good. But what we're going to try and do is get a bit of a foothold in the server as well. Now, when we respawned, we respawned over here. I, I'm, I'm pretty much on the J of Jalavisco. And we're going to head into this town, see what we can find, and then we're going to move up to the main city. Now, the general rule in Daisy is that you stay away from cities, okay? But I haven't got any gear apart from this gun, so I really do need to find something. Can you hear a body? No, I can't. I really do need to find something other than just my gun. Because shooting's fine, that's great, but, uh, oh god, aggro zombies, they're not great. But we do need to establish ourselves in a base. There's lots of vehicles on this server, I've found out. There's also helicopters, which would be quite interesting. Seeing as you could navigate across the map in a helicopter in about 10 seconds. Now, hopefully, we can just lose these zombies. We'll have a quick check out here, and we'll see what's going on. I think I can hear zombies. Uh, dead bodies, sorry. Uh, let's have a quick check out over here. Let's see what we got. I've never seen one of these buildings before. It's like a big, it's like a big like housing block. Even scaffolding on it. I love it. Okay, so let's go in here. Well, whatever this place was, it certainly isn't it now. Oh, and the only loot is tin cans. How wonderful. Let's have a pop up to the second floor. I think this is probably an industrial building. Those crates. I mean, this is the sort of... Because this is essentially like... Uh, why is there a maze in here? This, this really wants to provide me with a sniper rifle. Gunfire? Certainly hope not. Don't want that yet. Want it in a minute. Yeah. Nothing up there. And there's nothing up here either. God damn it. Okay, right, well, let's head over to the other town. What was it called? Forkuta? Or Puta. And we'll see what's going on over there. Maybe find some people, might find some some better guns as well. Hi guys and welcome to Vakuta. It's a beautiful city, vibrant, great restaurants, decent nightlife, and gun shots. Oh great, I was fine. We're going to be shooting each other, let's do it. I need to get inside the wall, but I don't want to aggro that zombie. I haven't got a silenced pistol either. It sounded like a handgun. So I'm hoping that it's the guy that's just spawned up here. I really need that zombie to go. I want to go in that fire station because there's a chance of decent loot. So let's move around here. We're going to have to keep an eye out though because there's people just wildly shooting and death will come fast. Okay, so let's move in here. Just hope, well, there's no loot. Painkillers. AKM. Nope. Don't want that. Want a sniper rifle if possible. 
the, the, these cities, like I was saying, is it's pretty dangerous being in here, certainly. Because, one, nobody trusts anyone on this game. And two, a heat pack, we need those. I've already made that mistake on this server. Once. Uh, let's just have a quick see if we can see anyone. The gunshots came from within the city, so we are going to head into the city. Just have a quick check of it. I haven't, I haven't seen any of this this map at all. Like I said in my first video, it's completely new to me. So we're going to head over there and see what we can see. And if we find another player, then we'll find, we'll deal with it as and when. Right guys, and we're totally honest, the server got hacked and I managed to avoid dying. But I got spawned somewhere else. And I found a boat. Check me out in my boat. So what is up there? Is that a supermarket? I'm not 100% sure where I am. But I'm going to take us back up to the... Uh... In fact, it's a long way up there. What we're going to do is we're going to check out Sebjan. Uh, and that guy was asking if anyone was in there. So we're going to be there soon. This boat is is pretty quick. It does 50, 50 kilometers an hour, which is fast. So let's uh, let's put this down here, and then hopefully they want to nick it because that is that is going to be quite handy. Because this I need to save you. Why can't I save you? PBX. This server is is almost all connected by water so it, I mean having that boat that will travel 50 miles an hour is very very handy so let's head up into Servian or I think that's what it's called and hopefully we can we can try and find some other people so that is the first helicopter We've just moved out of Serjam, Serjam, and uh, wow, wow, what what is he doing? Oh my God, the helicopter is going down! Oh my God, it just blew up. Was it shot? Two guys were killed. Three guys were killed. Oh man, that was a serious crash. We need to go and loot that. Let's go head down. Evidently we weren't the only people person to see the heli crash. There's another guy there. Um, if he picks up a gun, this is going to get a little bit interesting. Heli crashes are cool because they contain loot usually. The ones that spawn in contain loot. This is just going to have a couple of guys that have, have got gear on them. Now this guy's going to go and pick up a gun, and unfortunately for him, he's going to get shot as a result. Simply can't have other people rocking about like this. We can try and talk to him, but ultimately he's in a bit of trouble, this guy. Oh, he's got a gun already. Just a warning shot. There's a second survivor now. And a third. The helicopter's still exploding. Okay, one's down. That was shadows. I can't have these guys firing at me. They're firing back, but there's another guy over there. He's now laying down. We got to we got to rid this heli crash of these guys. There's another guy down the front of the helicopter. We are committed at this point. We are committed because we're now in combat. This is the new mechanic for this game to stop people aborting. There he is. 
And there's another one down. Okay, so that's two killed. And there's one more in here somewhere. Where is he? I know there are guns down there. I also think there's a second guy here behind me shooting down, which is not good news for me. Although, I can't see him. The guy bugging out over there. Another explosion. God only knows what that is. We just need to wait here and just let this calm down a bit. And then we'll head up. But this is so dangerous at the moment. Is that someone over there or is that a dead body? I haven't had any gunshots. I think that's a dead body. Oh man. That is going. That helicopter will have attracted so much attention, and I think there's one guy still down there. There's no one coming from that direction, or that direction. But I think there's a guy down at the heli, so we're going to have to be very, very, very careful here. The helicopter's still exploding. I took out two guys here. I'm certain there was a third. All oh, right, there's some dead people here. He didn't have anything. It's a bit of a nuisance having to kill these people, but all oh, right, he had the Lee Enfield. Okay, we need to get out of here. I don't think there's anything there that's of any use to me. It's got a can of Frank and beans. We'll take that. And he had the Winchester. Okay, we've been here long enough. We need to get the hell out of here. So that, ladies and gentlemen, was a helicopter crash. And that is a lot of dead people as a result. I'll nick this boat, I think, and then we'll head up back around to a different town. Thank you very much for watching. I've been old Flads, and uh, the mask is the mask is pretty intense.